So TikTok superstar Charlie D'Amelio has come under fire after her fans missed out on a paid Zoom meeting. So she was having a virtual webinar for her new book. So tickets weren't free, you had to buy them for $22. And tickets were exclusively available for the first few had purchased a book bundle. And the Zoom link was supposed to be sent via email to those who were scheduled to attend. The problem is that some people were not able to join the virtual event. Some who had purchased tickets to the virtual webinar claimed that they were unable to join Charlie's Zoom call and criticized the TikTok star handling of the event. Well, how did she handle it? Well, they missed out and she didn't respond. She gets a lot of hate, that girl. This is just a glitch. It's a disorganization. It's not really her fault. But the reason why I'm talking about this story is because I saw something that really made me ch chuckle a little bit. Just her releasing a book. Okay, so the TikTok star recently announced that she would be releasing a book on her success called Essentially Charlie, the, ult the Ultimate Guide to Keeping It Real. Okay, cool. But my thing is releasing a book on her success. That triggered me, I'm not gonna lie. Why is Charlie D'Amelio successful? I don't understand, honestly. I don't understand why TikTok quote unquote stars like this dude here becomes stars. I don't understand at all. They do little dances and then they get millions of subscribers. Like how did she get a hundred million subscribers just by doing dances? She's a good dancer, yes, but many other people are good dancers. Many other chicks are good dancers. There are many other girls her age that are just as good looking as her. She's not like super hot or anything. And her sister is even more puzzling to me. Dixie D'Amelio has no real talent on TikTok at least. She doesn't dance, she just breathes. We have a culture where people are popular for the sake of being popular. There's nothing special about her. She's an average looking chick. She models, oh what, so what, millions of women model. It doesn't make sense to me. And it also doesn't make sense to me why Charlie is popular. Anyways, releasing a book on her success. Let me tell you why she's successful. I say it doesn't make sense to me, but what I think happened was simply luck, almost entirely luck. The algorithm picked her up. She was at the right place at the right time and she was pushed by a platform. And in a sense, that's why all TikTok stars are stars. <laughs> Look, but anyways, so that, that's the story here. Throw them to fire again. So another controversy, last time it was that uh, she was rude at the table, eating with her sister, if you, if you remember that. Well, that was more of a Dixie drama, but then she mentioned how she was excited to get to 100 million subscribers and that annoyed people because people said, we're not numbers, we're people. It's just overly sensitive. Again, when you're this big, people are gonna make a fuss out of anything. like. like the tea channels they make money from taking the drama and exploding it essentially but anyways just looking at this book it looks more of a book for children honestly doesn't look like a book for <laughs> doesn't even look like a book for teenagers anyways good for her i guess it sucks that she's stuck in drama and i'll show you some of the receipts so tiktok insiders which is a t page on instagram was the first to cover this story they show you got tickets an event bright event and then if we switch the host has declined your webinar registration shall i paid for your zoom and you didn't get to join yeah that sucks that really sucks for them i hope that she makes up for this glitch and that she actually has another meeting with these girls because it sucks for them they look like they really wanted to be in a meeting with charlie so that's the story like comments subscribe. Have a good one.